another topic today.、Um, what I recommend that you go if you visit Beijing, okay? Because I'm from there, so I feel I have、um, I have a lot of knowledge about about the city. So I recommend number one place to go is the Summer Palace. Because the Summer Palace is absolutely beautiful, and I I feel the Summer Palace actually have a better weather compared to、uh, rest of Beijing too. I mean, I don't know, maybe it's a combination of the nature.、Um, it is a place that is a combination of the beauty of the nature and man-made constructions such as palace,、um, the living places. Um, it's just such a beautiful place. If you go there, every step forward is another scenery. It's like that. It's it's unbelievable beautiful. So I would recommend everyone who go to Beijing definitely visit、uh, the Summer Palace. Now a lot of place, a lot of people like to visit Forbidden City. Forbidden City is very nice. It's um, it's not gonna be as interesting. I don't. To me, okay, because I've been there since I was a kid.、Um, to me, it's not as interesting as the Summer Palace, because Summer Palace is more of a nature、uh, and the palace. The Forbidden City is more of the palace and the, the exhibit of、uh, of royal uh, royal uh, royal things.、Um, but it's nice. I like it. It's very big. It's nice. Now, apparently, a lot of people like to go to the Great Wall. There, I think there, from my memory, there are two sides of the Great Wall that, well, that are in Beijing. One is Bada Bada Ling,、uh, one is the other. I mean, I can't remember exactly the name of it, but the most famous is Bada Ling、um, Great Wall. Definitely go there. It's fun.、Uh, it's very windy there, but. Uh, but it's very nice. It's because it's on the mountains.、Um, it's not like in. It's more like a rural area of、uh, Beijing. It's on the mountains, so it's windy. It depends on the weather when you're going there too. But to me, it's kind of windy.、Um, but it's nice. It's definitely very very grandeur.、Um, And then eat. <laughs> you should, you should absolutely eat the Beijing duck for sure, because that's really the representation of the Beijing cooking. It's the most famous, what Beijing is most famous for, and to me, it's also representation of、um, a very unique representation of Chinese cooking.、Um, I would definitely eat that.、Um, what else? There's just so many nice places to go, but if I would say. Um, oh, I would I would like to try.、Um, for me, for the new things, I would like to try the high speed train to Tianjin if I could.、Uh, but that just that's a more like a new thing.、Um, what else I would go? I think that's for now. I think more、uh, for the next you know next topic. 今天呢，给大家介绍一下，就是说，如果你去北京旅游。那你应该，我建议去哪儿？首先呢，要我看第一，首先要去颐和园，真的颐和园实在太美了。你们大家要是没去过的话，真真的不去都太遗憾了。嗯，怎么说呢？我我小时候那个就是，只要有假期，只要一放假，立刻就去颐和园玩。然后我每次回国要陪我妈去颐和园。所有，所以就是说，要我看北京，我认为最美的就颐和园。第二个你要说，第二个呢，很多人愿意去紫禁城。紫禁城就是说没有，其实它就是说，它很大，很威严，里边有很多宫皇宫的，就是说用品的展览，嗯，也不错了。反正就是说，如果你没去过，应该去一下。呃，长城呢就不用说了，长城就在八达岭长城就是最有名的了。呃，我去过，好像就是。我记忆就是风比较大，因为它在山上，就是风比较大，但是还是非常的值得一去，很雄浑。啊、呃，第四个呢，当然首先第四个绝对要吃北京烤鸭了，这个就是，呃，我就是觉得我吃过那么多中国饭、中国菜
，呃，你要我觉得就是说，我认为，集各方面于一身的，就是说娱乐呀，就是说它就是说不光是好吃，而且它好看，就是而且很很炫，就是片鸭什么的，就是就是整个就很 ，I can't tell you what it just so good。总的来讲呢，就是相当的有意思，嗯。如果新的呢？新的我不是很知道了，但是我感觉我很想尝试一下，就是坐一下从北京到天津的高铁试一下，好吧？那今天就介绍到这儿。